The dinosaurs are loose again. Here's your look at the new Mattel Jurassic World Dino Rivals Sukumimus. Sporting a brand new Mega Dual Attack, the Sukumimus can attack both by its tail and its giant jaw. Okay, Jurassic World fans, the first thing we're going to do is measure off how big this dinosaur is, just so that you guys know if you're picking this up for yourself. So from its tail to its to the end of its snout, the Sukumimus stands, or lengthwise, is as a very impressive 14.2 inches in length, which works out to be, switching that over, to 36.1 centimeters in height. Now we're going to go ahead and figure out how tall the dinosaur stands, because that's, of course, important as well. To the very top of the Sukumimus's head, and stopping the Ultra Measuretron 5000, the dinosaur height-wise stands at another impressive 6.6 .6 inches in height, which works out to be, centimeter-wise, 16, 16.8 centimeters tall. To come included with the dinosaur, you get yourself the new Dino Rivals trading cards. I love these trading cards. Unfortunately, the original Jurassic World toys didn't come included with these. I would have loved collecting these along the way. Now, one thing that you can also do to collect these is that you can also scan them into your Jurassic World Dino information app, in which we will look at that in a second. So we're going to move that to the side. It's I think it's called the Jurassic World Fax app, to be more exact. Nice image there of the Sukumimus along with the multiple different stats that the dinosaur has. Rather, very, very strong dinosaur. You're looking at an 8 out of 10. Speed is 5 out of 10. Intelligence is a little less than that. You're only looking at 4. And then Veracity, you're looking at a 7 out of 10. Again, I like these cards. Luckily, this one didn't have as much tape on it. And... Uh, yeah, there you go. So it comes included with the card. Let's put that aside. By the way, again, a big thank you to viewer Bill, who took the time and sent me a whole bunch of new Jurassic World, uh, the new Jurassic World Dino Rivals. Couldn't find these anywhere. So somehow he was able to find these. And thank you again to viewer Bill. So let's have a look at the Sukumimus, a rather nice colored dinosaur. I would almost describe the color, as you know I like to do on this channel, in food. I would describe this dinosaur in a nice golden mustard yellow. It's got some nice contrast of color to the otherwise normal, kind of the greens, the browns that we normally see. It's always nice to get a good pop of color. Sukumimus definitely does have that. Uh, it's a very long snouted dinosaur, as you can see, sporting an, a full array of sharp, sharp teeth. Inside, they've also put in a plastic pink tongue. Doesn't look like it has been painted, nor has the under area of its mouth the interior of its jaw has also been done in pink plastic. This would hinge open and close, yum, 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 all of which we will look at in a second. The eye is almost very hard to see. It's not quite the same yellow as this mustard yellow here, but it's still kind of a darker gold color. Luckily, there's a nice bit of brown that's been splotched around the eye socket area, in which you can hopefully then see the eye standing out a little bit more. It's interesting to note that the pupils here, uh, the eyeball, I should say, is more of a brown color to go along with the brown that's around it. It's got some nice scaling texturing to it, on par with what you would normally expect to find with the dinosaurs here. It's unfortunate that paint sometimes gets left off of these, and while it does have paint on its on its hind legs, as you can see there in the claw portion, the hands, unfortunately, get completely left off. It's just a small thing. There's only three... Uh, fingernails, three claws on both sides. I'm sure you could easily have painted that in in black, but unfortunately it gets left off. The arms are also a little bit of a softer rubber plastic, which is actually quite the contrast to the rest of the dinosaur, which again is made of the... <laughs> made of the hard plastic. I like how the brown here, you've got a big scale of as a spinal scale running down the length of the dinosaur is done in almost like a, 
a chocolate brown. There you go, talking about food once again. I love how the rooted colors of the brown spread their way out from the center area and spread their way out into the rest of the back section of the dinosaur and also into the neck. Again, I love the detailing that they put in all of their dinosaurs. Really, again, like the texturing that I always like to describe as sort of like an elephant hide gets carried across really from the front of the dinosaur all the way to the very back of the dinosaur. Underneath, though, of, co of course, is your Jurassic World Dinosaur Act, uh, Fax app. It's always a mouthful. And, of course, you've also got your Jurassic World logo there. It's a nice-looking dinosaur. Honestly speaking, though, it does have a tough time standing. Unless you get the feet just right, Suchomimus does have a problem where he does t tend to topple forward. This is something that, even though he does technically, or it has articulation. You could even say she has articulation, both in the legs, the arms, and even in the swiveling areas of her ankles. Anything that you are moving past really this point will cause the dinosaur to, fall, uh, to fall forward. So even if you move the legs, which are articulated back and forth, there's really only so many ways that you can do that and still have a dinosaur that's stable and isn't gonna topple over does also have swiveling on the lower ankles. Again, not in a very accomplished thing, because I mean, really, again, if you're gonna swivel these back and forth, you can only swivel them so much. As you can see there, Suchomimus has a real tough time toppling forward, or that isn't so much the problem. Standing straight is really the problem. Also has arm articulation. The arms hinge outward as well. I guess if it wants to sneak up on somebody and just kind of scare them, um, but that is really all of its posability. The rest of it sits very heavily on its gimmick more than anything else. A gimmick, actually, I do quite like on these new dino rival dinosaurs. Essentially, what you got is you've got um, a hinge joint, a spring mechanism that's working on the front, and a spring mechanism that's working on the back. You can independently move these yourself. It's not to say that you have to use necessarily the button, but the, but the button is definitely a lot easier to do that. Same thing with the, really the tail as well. Now you have two options, two button options that you can press. I guess in theory you could press both of them at the same time as well. But the first button will be a trigger button for the front of the jaw. The back button here will activate the tail function. So if we want to press that, we're going to go ahead and press the front button. And you can see that the Suchomimus not only brings its head forward, but also opens and closes its giant, very serrated teeth jaw. And that's pretty cool, I like that. The back also works the exact same way. You're gonna press that down. And instead of things opening and closing, you instead have a tail that's wagging back and forth. The dinosaur is very excited. This again is something that you could easily do on your own, but it's nice to be able to kind of walk the dinosaur through its terrain and then be able to press, in this case, you could press both buttons and have both functions, both gimmicks working at the exact same time. And it's really, really neat. It's not something that they incorporate into the original Jurassic World toy line, but I'm kind of glad that they, they've done this now. They've done it in some ways with some of the dinosaurs, like for example, just solely tail whipping or solely just head bobbing up and down. This is a case though where the Dino Rivals toy line is now incorporating functions where it will operate both. You can see again, I'm having a tough time getting the Suchomimus to stand upright. Again, this is a problem, not so much necessarily for eyes be looking specifically at this dinosaur. It seems really across the board. It's just the way that the hind legs are working and much of the weight of the dinosaur leans more to the front here that the dinosaur does want to topple over a little bit. So you want to really make sure, even though it does have posability where it should have posability, the posability really is just in namesake only. You really can't move the dinosaur too much or you sacrifice what it's doing currently right now. All right, dinosaur fans, now we're gonna go into the Dino Rivals Jurassic World Dinosaur App. Now, first things first, the Dinosaur of the Week, we've got ourselves Velociraptor Blue. Now, we've already acquired Velociraptor Blue in a previous instance. Um, we can go in and, of course, you've got some new stats that you can check out. For example, uh, Velociraptor Blue, in her youth, Blue fought with Echo for pack supremacy. But that's not really what we're talking about right here. What we want to know is more, a little bit more, 
but the Sukumayam is. So we're gonna go ahead and take the app, we're gonna take the dinosaur's foot, line it up as if it's going for shoe sizing. You know, when you were younger and they used to put your foot on one of those shoe charts, figure out how big your foot was. I know we're talking about other things that aren't relative to the dinosaur, but if I can get the Sukumimus to stand here so we can actually look at its app. Again, it really does have a tough time standing forward. I know everybody's yelling, well, we want to see the app. We want to see the app. We will look at the app. We'll just lay her down for, we'll just lay her down for a second. Okay. So there is the Sukumimus, about the same coloring, same palettes of colors that we saw with the figure itself. It's a really, again, a nice representation of the Sukumimus, but again, you can't really do anything with them. I know, I'm sounding like a broken record for saying that. We're gonna go in and find out some stats about the Sukumimus. The first thing, one, her 100 teeth are adapted for grasping fish. Didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. She has a strong four limbs, she has strong four limbs with a huge sickle-like thumb. Again, didn't know that. And lastly, she catches huge fish using her snout and her claws. Fancy that. Now, if we go into our collection, I just want to kind of show you where we've left off so far. Now, what they've done is they've grouped these. As you can see, in the red are all the dino arrival figures from the new toy line. As you can see, there's still a fair bit that I have to collect. Further down from that is the Jurassic World which I've actually acquired not as many as I had hoped, but there's still a fair bit I gotta collect. I've collected all the ones featured right here. And any one of them at any given time, you can just go into it and read once again all the stats about the dinosaur that maybe you wanted to go back and learn a little bit more. So like if Dilophosaurus was your dinosaur pick for the day, you could go in there and find out a little bit more about the Dilophosaurus. And we're not really quite looking at the Dilophosaurus, we were looking at the rather impressive Sukumimus. A neat looking snouted, long snouted dinosaur. Its bright yellow colors certainly makes it stand out from maybe some of the other ones that we had looked at on this channel. I love the gimmick of having the Mega Duel Attack, I even just like the name of that. The Mega Duel Attack allows for both the grabbing from the snout and the tail swinging from the tail. It's a neat, again, it's a neat looking dinosaur. I just kind of wish it could stand a little bit better. They tease you with the idea that the figure or the dinosaur at hand does have posability in its hind legs as well as its ankles. But again, mileage may vary for how much and how long that dinosaur is gonna stand before unfortunately it topples over. I tried to think to myself, what could they have done differently? Shy of maybe giving them a small circular display base that has maybe like a muddy terrain and like a little clamp that could have clamped to the back of the ankles. But Mattel's not really into doing much in the way of display stands. And certainly for dinosaurs, kids are probably going to be running around in the backyard playing with these and not necessarily always posing them. So I suppose that right, sort of writes off the idea of giving them a display stand. Once again, you can go into the very cool Jurassic World Facts app and learn a little bit more about the Sukumimus. One thing that's neat about the new dinosaurs, the dino rivals from Mattel, is that you also get yourself trading cards. Luckily for Sukumimus, the trading card that came included with this dinosaur didn't have nasty tape all across it. It's one thing that they really should work on. Needless to say though, a neat looking dinosaur if you can get it to stand, which is again, all the problems that you have usually with these medium sized dinosaurs. They're not as big as the larger T-Rex, but even like the, the larger T-Rex does have problems at times standing, all again, because most of the weight is local, localized on the front of the dinosaur rather than really where the hind legs are, which about three quarters back on the dinosaur. Again, if you are interested in picking this one up for yourself, it should be available now. I say should be available now in most toy stores and retail stores. Again, I wanna give a big thank you to viewer Bill for taking the time, picking these up and sending these my way. We're gonna have a look at some other cool Jurassic World Dino Rival figures coming up in upcoming reviews. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that for the most part, when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. Why not better, why not swing over to the homepage when you're finished this video, have a look and see if there's anything in the videos section of any older reviews or future reviews. If there's something that you may have missed, the best place to check it out is over at the homepage. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.